While we've said that you've boxed for a lot of different promoters in a lot of different countries, one thing that's been a constant throughout your career has been the training setup with Oliver Harrison. Yeah. So how much of a, a change was it for you and how did you manage the change from Oliver to Jamie Moore, which was obviously an enforced change? Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Well, it, everything happens for the reason, but it wasn't originally planned. Like I didn't leave Oliver, I went to Oliver because, I went to Jamie because Oliver was uh, in a hospital if people understood what happened to him, they, you know, you won't believe it. How, how the fact he is back in the gym now training. But um, I went to Jamie because he had a fight coming up, and Oliver couldn't train me. But I started out at Oliver's, saying 11 years ago when Jamie was flying. You know, Jamie's he's always been somebody who I look up to as a as a fighter and as a person. So even though when Jamie retired, I was training with Oliver, he'd he'd come down the gym and I'd do bit to them. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd go and sit down, have a coffee with him or somebody to have a little chat with him. And he was um, up and when was he? I think last year. Was it last year? Well, the year before, towards the back end of the year, I was really struggling motivation wise. Go in the gym and I said this to Oliver. I said, I'm finding it hard. I was struggling bad. And he said, listen, let's get Jamie up here now was a regular thing. So obviously we got Jamie up and it was just giving me that little boost I needed. So obviously when that happened uh, with Oliver, um, it was just a, a, a natural thing to go to go and train with Jay. Um, between us all now, we, we've got a great setup. I train with Jamie um, four or five days a week, go and see Oliver once a week and do do, do a bit to them. So it, it's a good setup. And uh, and yeah, I mean, it's it, it's changed. We, we didn't want it to be the way it is. I, I especially didn't want it to be the way it is with Oliver. But he's recovering now. He's going he, he's gonna to be better. He's getting better every single day. Um, but the way that things are now in the in the gym at this stage in my career it's better for me mentally having that change of scenery going seeing different people you know having just the, the different people around the gym that that, that just are all, all the different characters which we've got a lot of in uh in in jamie jamie nigel's gym so so yeah it's um it, it, it's come at the right time and I think that's again another little added thing that you know. I think it's in my destiny to become world champion. I just do. The fact that I'm here now, my fifth fifth opportunity, my fifth chance. I know I won't get another, but I just feel it's in my destiny, destiny to win uh, a world title and become world champion. And I think this is just the you know the the, the final piece in the puzzle that's that's going to make me do so. Jamie was one of the better British fighters to not win a world title or yeah. even to not challenge for a world title. Yeah. In fact. Oliver's not had a world champion, Jamie's not had a world champion yet. How much extra kind of, not just motivation, but extra meaning would that give to a world title win for you? Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't really put it into words. It's always been a big thing for me as well, winning a world title, not just for myself and my family, but you know, wanting to be um, wanting to be the first world champion that Oliver's had. And now it's with Jamie and it'd be pretty much the same. I know obviously we've got Frampton there who's absolutely flying. No doubt he'll, he'll win a world title again. Um, but it means a lot the fact that I've been with them from from the day I started, turned professional. And I know that on June 23rd together as a team, you know, man and everyone else's dreams, Oliver's and James will, will, will you know, will become a reality feels like the perfect place to draw a line so thanks for your time thank you cheers dan nice one, thanks,